Hello everyone, Sam is from myfirstmagicweb.com and um, I'm making this video about pound index uh, for Richard. Richard, you asked me and I uh, says, well, let me just make a video and send out to, for everybody else as well. Because uh, yeah, yeah you, you can ask questions in the email, but the answer cannot be answered in the email. It's, uh, it's more detailed and I hate typing, right? So. <laughs> It's easy for me to make a video. Anyway, so um, let's get started. This is a chart I made on 12 December that this is what pound index is supposed to do. Right? From bouncing from this area, going to 70, 82, and maybe higher because this looks like we're one, two, and three, and this, this whole thing is like we're four, bouncing from the tier, and then it might go all the way to the upside. So, so far we are here to this tier here. Let me show you the life chart. Okay, now this is the life chart. You can see we are here and uh, what we are doing, another version of the weekly chart is this. This is what I made the chart when it was here and it says, well, you know, wave four, if that's what it is, then we gotta go for wave five here. When we are going to the upside on a smaller time frame, I saw this. This is what's happening on the 12th January, right? So I said, okay, this is after the retracement, this start to go up, it looks in pulse wave, uh, one, two, three, then should be followed by wave four and then wave five to the upside. It will be something like this, one, two, three, four, five. So for the wave four, what happened? So far, this what happened. Uh, as of today, this today is 18th, right? So yeah, it is coming down for wave four, but uh, it's in the middle of it, right? Now, the problem is that I, it might just go straight up or it may come down all the way to 38%. That's where the wave four is supposed to come, right? But tonight, what happened is that uh, we are always watching. Now, if this thing is like anything, like if, for example, here it starts dropping, all pound pair will become bearish. So it can't go long, right? Simple as that. In our system, you know, I'm talking about magic IP setup, right? You don't see any setup. It becomes bearish. Just like here, a small move to the downside, and you will find all pound pair become bearish. Let me show it to you one by one. Uh, for example, here, we go and we see this pound Aussie right now. It was here and boom, short setup in place right now. Right now, short setup in place. If it start dropping, volume time right now is 9.30, so I'm not bothering with it. But if it start dropping, then yeah, I'm gonna, probably going to get in uh, around maybe you know, 1 or 2 o'clock. Frankfurt open, right? So that's where, um, so it, it, it dropped and became bearish. You can't go long here. Right now, similarly, this is pound Aussie, and look at the pound yen. Make it a short setup. You can't go long, right? I, I can. What I can do is I can go short, right? I would go long here, but and I did, and you know, came out in a break even. Uh, but here right now, short because pound index is dropping. So this one also short. Um, pound uh, USD it dropped, right? Uh, pound CAD 20 minute, you can see that it dropped very nicely because CAD also getting a strong, so it dropped and I made this entry here. And so far I'm like 45 pip and uh, I may lose it because it might just, you know, bounce if uh, a pound index start bouncing. If it dropped a little bit more, then probably I'm gonna get it, you know, 70, 80 pip, 65, 70, 75 pip, I'll close that. But right now I'm holding on to it and see what happened, right? And then, but it, it dropped, right? All pound pairs. And then this is pound cat. And let me show you pound Nuzi. Uh, just made an entry a little while ago here, right? Uh, right now, right, this is the, my entry. This is the SL. If it drops, fine. If not, boom. Okay, no problem. You know, that happens. You know, it's a part of the business, right? Uh, so, uh, but I have to try everything. And then pound franc. This is uh, the entry here today. So all, you see all pound pair drop. But the question is, how far more are we going to go? If we are going to go down here, then I will probably, my three entry will give me like 70, 80. And that's how you see, uh, you know, I make it, I make the, uh, the trades, right? But this is risky, you know, wave, uh, for wave four, 
uh, is always uh, risky and shaky. But after that, when once like rotation like this, wave four, this will happen. For wave five, you're gonna go up, right? Then all the pair will become bullish, and then we will see our bullish setups. And then I'm gonna start taking those bullish setups. So if you ask me, you were asking your question was that you know short term. That's what the problem is that it might drop a little more. Right now it's a bullish setup, right? So it might go up right from here. And then if that, that happens, then the confirmation comes from the pairs because they all will become bullish and give you the bullish setup, which you will take, right? Uh, even seven minute chart, right? But if the thing is that if this drops more, you're never gonna see long setup. So I would say that if you're not in the trade right now, just hold on, let it drop. All the pairs gonna drop, and then maybe tomorrow, day after tomorrow, tomorrow, you know, I'm, I'm gonna uh, hold the webinar Wednesday, right? And then hopefully that you know by that time it might be here, and then it start bouncing, and we're gonna go long in all pairs. Okay, whatever we can get out of five, six pairs, maybe you know two or three good solid trades. Under pip each, that will do it. So this is the plan right now. So hold on to it and uh, just watch it. So right now, maybe a little drop and then go up, or it eighty percent chance, the twenty percent chance is like yeah, okay, free. It will go right from here. So either way, if it goes up, you will see the long setups. We will take it. If it drops here and then start to go up, then we're gonna take the long setups. Okay. Um, like me, if you are already in, in a short trade or you have taken one of those uh, short setup that I just showed you, then hold on to it and see what happens. Sit on a break even. If the price goes up and then take you out, then it's fine. No, you know, no, no loss, no hard feeling, right? And then you get in when uh, you know uh, everything turns bullish, and then you see the you know, the long setups. We will start taking the long setups, right? Um, <clears throat> so that's how it is. That's where we stand in pound uh 40 minute chart this is pound index right and then pound pairs so a little more drop and then go up for wave five but don't think that we're gonna be going up for you know for a long time no there's gonna be just wave five after that retracement starts again right so that's the beauty of it you know you gotta be with the waves you gotta you know count the waves and you know uh, play accordingly if not then you know this thing just wobble all the time Anyway, so this is what it is. If you have any more questions, just uh, send me in the email. All right. So this is it for now. And thanks for watching and talk to you guys later.